Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back. And as usual, don't forget to go to smartvania.com. And today is the day you've been waiting for. I'm gonna show you how to multiply in MIPS using the shift left logical instruction. Well, uh, first of all, we need that data for all the data in random access memory and that text for the instructions. So, um, I'm not going to be using the data right here, so this is going to be empty, but of course I need to use instructions. So first of all, what is shift left logical? Well, shift left logical, as you can see right here, shift left logical right here is a special instruction. It allows you to shift the bit to the left, but you can also have shift right logical and shift right logical allows you to shift the bits to the right. Well, I'm not going to show you the details of how it works, but why is shift left logical very useful? Because shift left logical allows you to do multiplication in a very efficient manner, and shift right logical allows you to do division in a very efficient manner. So, sometimes you have arrays, um, and don't worry if you don't know what arrays are, but um, sometimes you have to calculate. You have to calculate the offset. You have to calculate a number for an array in order to get a value from the array. Um, and sometimes it's very nice that you can use this instruction, shift, shift left logical. So how does it work? Okay, I'm going to give you an example right now. Um, let's say that we only need like at immediate dollar sign s0 dollar sign 0 comma 4. So right here, I'm saying, okay, add 4 to 0 and store the value in S0. So this is just moving forward to, to register S0. So now let's say that I want to multiply um, 4 times 4. How can I do that? Well, I can do the following. I can do shift left logical. I need the destination register, let's say T0. And then I want to multiply as 0 which has 4 and then I want to multiply I want to multiply by 4 so I say 2 but why do I say 2 well because this instruction right here is going to multiply by 2 to the i 2 to the i I know it sounds confusing but what I mean is that any number here is going to be the exponent i is going to be the exp the exponent so if you if you say uh, if you have a 2 right here it's going to say 2 to the second power, which is 4. So this is going to multiply by 4. So S0 has 4, so 4 times 4 is 16. But if you have 1, then it's going to be 2 to the i or 2 to the 1. And 2 raised to the first power is 2. So this is going to multiply by 2. If you have 3, then it's going to be 2 raised to the third power. And 2 raised to the third power is 8. Because you say 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So you get the idea, I think. So I want to multiply by 4. So I say, OK, um, the value in S0, which is 4, multiply by 4. So I say 2 raised to the second power, which is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. And the result is going to be stored in T0. So now I just want to print it out. And as usual, print it, right? So load immediate, dollar sign V0. Um, and then the, to print out an integer, the code is 1, and then just add dollar sign a0 because a0 is for the argument, dollar sign 0, dollar sign t0, t0 contains the result of the multiplication or the product, which is 16, and then I say system, do it, syscall, or do it, syscall. So now, let me clear this down here. And I save it, I run, I assemble, and then I execute. And as you can see, 16. So, well, this is amazing. Now you know how to do multiplication using shift left logical. And shift left logical is a very uh, nice feature. You can do multiplication in a very efficient manner, very fast, very quickly. Um, so, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And, well, See you next time.